Major Slack Videos. Hey, welcome back to Major Slack Videos here for a stop for Shadow of the Earth Tree gameplay, and we just finished getting Scattered Tree Blessing 6. Let's go get Scattered Tree Blessing 7 and 8. There are four more Scattered Tree fragments to be found in this area here. Basically, the Murth Runes area. There is one right here in a heavily guarded, unmarked enemy camp. There are two more up here at the Church of the... Church of the Cathedral? Church of the something or other. Anyways. Two more there. And there's one final one to be found right here. Which I'm going to call Furnace Golem Camp because there's a Furnace Golem here. The fragment is there, but as soon as you get within a certain perimeter of the camp, this furnace go golem starts lumbering down towards the scattered tree fragment right there. So basically, you got to get in, grab it, and get out before he does that. Unless you want to take him on. <laughs> and if you do, um, well, you know, we'll just notify your next can. All right, so um, the big deal here is all these black knights and these mount mostly mounted black knights that are roaming around this area here. The best thing to do is wipe them all out, and then we'll have like free ro roam, free reign of this area. That's that's like priority number one. Let's go back to Murth Runes and we'll take off from there. We'll start in morning to give us plenty of daylight because we're not going to get back to a site of grace until this is all done. Okay, so we'll wait until morning. Maybe a little dark, but um. as things get on. Alright, so looking to the north here see these three trees here? There's a black knight galloping around this area here. If we go right to the next to this tree here, let's put a beacon there and we hide out in the bushes there, we can ambush him with our great stars with the savage lion's claw on it. Let me make sure I've got all the right talismans on. That's right. Everything is good. Okay, let's go do it. Insert diabolical laughter. <laughs> there he is, right there. See, he's galloping along. Let's just wait for him to finish his route. Keep well away. We can just hide in some bushes there. And we're going to wait for him to come back. Okay, let's go make our move. Right to the beacon. Get rid of the beacon. Hide in the bushes. He's going to come down this way, and then on the way back, he's going to pass by this tree here. As soon as he passes the tree, it's clobbering time. Here he comes. And just spam that skill button until he goes down. Once he goes down, you can do a crit hit. Okay, here we go. Quiet on the set. Lock on. Oh, dude. Right in midair. Beautiful. Got him. Jeez, I knocked him out again. Sweet. That was beautiful. That was beautiful. That's the best one I've ever done. Okay, next. Um... We're going to circle around here. There's another one galloping around here, and there's another um, mounted black knight that slowly circles around the camp. What we want to do is take the high ground on this, this cliff here and take him out with the rock slings. So we're going to circle around here like this. Okay, that's the camp right there. Whoops, going the wrong way. Yeah, see, there's the one. That's the one that slowly circles around the camp. We want to get up on those cliffs up there. And there's another one that's galloping around. We're going to give them both a wide berth. Hide out here. There's the one that's galloping around. 
He's priority number one. He seems like he's stuck. This is unusual. Unless he's like alerted to my presence or something and he altered his route. Looks like he's coming for me. Okay, let's take out this ram here. Because he can really throw a monkey wrench into this, into your plans. Okay, this is exactly where we want to be up on this cliff here. There's one that's galloping around. Okay, this is a job for Roxling. Meteorite staff in the left hand and um, arrows reach for Roxling. Okay, he's coming back. Okay, let's make our move. Doesn't matter if you hit him, you're gonna get his attention. And just keep spamming it out. Yeah, we got him. Beautiful. Alright, that's two down. Now for the slow patrol. There's a slow patrol. Rinse and repeat. Here he comes. Nope. There we go. Nice. Beautiful. Alright, these guys, these common soldiers. Over here can be handled with night comet. It's good to get them out of the way. They're all just hanging out in the grass here. Charge night comet should one shot them. Just like everything else. These guys that come at you two or three at a time, they can fuck you right up. Pardon my French, but yeah, never underestimate the, the little enemies in this DLC. It's nuts. Oh, there's one guy right below here. Okay, so there's five down below there, okay. Okay, at this point, we can infiltrate the camp from the north side, which is the best way to go. So let's switch over to our melee. Get some ACD on. That's Assassin's Crimson Dagger. And what did you drop? A dagger. Okay, get your sneak on. Okay, all the mounted patrols are down. Okay, so coming around this side here, what we want to do is you thread the needle right into this camp here. See that this or this tent breath. See that guy right there? Get his attention. Headshot. Draw him out. Okay, he's got to pipe. Get up close so we can do a guard counter. Knock him out. Great hit. Okay, so it's basically divide and conquer with everybody in here. We're going to use crystal darts to draw them out and deal with them all the same way. Usually that other guy that gets up with him usually loses interest. These guys with the pike get right up in their face so you can do a guard counter. Otherwise your guard counter won't miss because it'd be too far away. Same with you. Come to Papa. And I think there's just one more. That guy standing guard right there. Okay, and here's our scattered tree fragment. One please, thank you very much. 
And there's also a cookbook in here. Let's take care of this guy first. A little backstab. Should finish him off nicely. There we go. Enemy group refill. So we got all the enemies in here. Done and done. That was textbook. Who loves you? Slack loves us. That's right. Don't you forget it. All right. Onward. Do not go back to the side of grace because you're just going to respawn all the mounted enemies. You don't want that. Um... Leave this for last. Let's go up to the church and get these two here. I um, think there's a, a mounted black knight roaming around here. But for now, um, let's just run around and get these important ember of mesmers. These are going to be important later on, so make sure you grab all this ember of mesmer here. And let me just take a quick look around the camp. There's one right there. And there's another one. Beautiful. Pretty sure there's another, I think that's him right there. Okay, hang on. There he is. This one always takes me by surprise. It's like he's kind of lurking around. Okay, so this is good. Beautiful. That is so satisfying. That is so satisfying messing those guys up. <laughs> I just love doing that. Um, let's do the uh, the furnace golem camp first since we're right here. And there's a black knight. You see like the tip of my great stars. There's one there. He's sleeping. And there's another one there. He's sleeping. You can sneak up. Take out those guys, go across there, night comment on those soldiers there. <laughs> Just beat him up. <laughs> Black Knight Grease, how about that? Okay, let's take out this one first. Watch over these guys. Seem like they're a little interested. one of those situations where um, the savage lion's claw he dodged just as I was doing it so kind of left me with my ass hanging hanging in the breeze guys we 
Nice. I think I almost got a complete set of Mesmer uh, armor. Okay, this next part is tricky. We don't want to get too close to the camp because we're going to set off the uh, the furnace golem and he's going to wander down and he's going to stand right in front of the scattered tree fragment. It's going to make it a lot more difficult to get. So let's take out this guy here. Get him to come over. That's right. You upset now? Nice. Now we should be able to just quickly sneak into the camp, grab that fragment and get out. Let's go for it. Okay, the golem is on the move. And let's get out of here. Run away like a little girl. Out into this open field that has been cleared of enemies so that we can. Yeah, in and out before he even knew what was happening. That's the that's textbook. That's exactly the way to do it. Alright, excellent. Okay. And the final one is at the church. Or the final two rather. I was gonna recommend do not uh go back to a side of grace. We worked hard to clear this area. There's another, uh... Hmm. Okay, let's not mess with him. He's not gonna mess with us. Okay, this looks like a job for some Night Comet. Beautiful. A couple of Homer Simpson dogs here. And it's just the... Um, the invasion here. Alright, let's just slap on a little magic scorpion here. A little bit of extra, extra damage. Same dealio as all invasions. Spam Knight Comet as you're backing away. Those stripped of the grace of gold shall all meet death in the embrace of Mesmer's flame. Here he goes on. And he always does that. Mark my words, graceless heathen. Thou shalt not evade the flame of my And we get a new talisman, the Crusade Insignia. Increases your attack power right after killing someone. Raises attack power after defeating an enemy. Very good. Field, test, field test that later on. Let's put this on. And here are two Adam scattered tree fragments. So now we should have four in our possession. There we go. So we can get up to Scattered Tree Blessing 8. And don't forget this rune arc here. And our work here is done. Oh, that was textbook. Um, actually, I'm going to leave those there for future reference. Leave all those marks there. Okay, I'm trying to decide what to do next. I think, um... Let's go back to the Cerulean Coast. There 
go. Seven. And eight. Tell you what, to finish out this video, let's make a speed run for this kick ass weapon that'd be perfect for a spell blade. Okay, and this is gonna be a job for Roxling. Right here from the Cerulean Coast side of Grace. Over to the west here, you see this kind of like this angle right here. Put a beacon right, boom, there. Okay. Now I know there's lots of stuff on the way. I'm gonna table that for a later date. Like I said, we're just gonna speed run for the weapon. Okay, see all these slopes up here. There's there's stuff to gather there. There's an underground cave system to explore here. Let's just go get the weapon. This whole area here, stuff to get here. Here we go, right in here. Okay, we're gonna get in and cut to the left. Just stick to the left side. There is this kind of like weird kind of leaping demi human that he wipes out half your health with a single shot. So stick to the left side, you could probably avoid him. There he is right there. That guy's that guy's nuts. Just nuts. And I ran ran right by a pickup I know. We're not gonna deal with that guy yet. I hook around here like this. And now we're in demi human country. Watch out for lightning balls. Stick to the right side now. Jump up here. And into this open area here. It's going to be a big demi human queen boss fight right there. Need me to do that. That's the boss right there. We're going to hook around here, up there, and get up here. And, you guessed it, Rock Sling. Huh. It's a dead easy kill. And there's also a um, really good pickup up here. A great grave glove right Okay, so get your rock sling gear ready to go. This is definitely worth a gold pickle foul foot. And let's throw in a little exalted flesh as well. Okay, we can just hop up here like this. Hit the high ground in the sucker. <laughs> this is just like shooting fish in a barrel. Okay, so this is not gonna last three minutes at all. So let's take just take our gold pickle foul foot and our exalted flesh and let him have it. There we go. And for our efforts, we earn a ton of money and the Starline Sword, which is perfect for our build. Just perfect. This thing kicks, just totally kicks ass. Check the weapon skill on this, this is nuts. And there's a follow up attack. Is that nuts or what? Who loves you? Slack loves us, that's right. Don't you forget it. Let's go upgrade it. Can't be so excited. I just can't hide it. Uh, yeah, we're definitely gonna upgrade this sucker. Do I have the stones? I, yeah, that's right. I used some of them up. So I need a uh, one, two, and a three, a five. 
One, two, three, five, eight, and nine. Okay, so we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And I think I'm gonna throw a, a Sombra at this one. A Sombra Ancient at this one. This is the weapon's worth it. Let's go, let's go show it some love. Alright, all the way to the top, Starline Sword. Do a little field testing. All right, feel the pain of the Starline Sword. Is that nuts or what? <laughs> Just made mincemeat. Didn't even take a hit. Yeah, bitch. We're we're packing the artillery now. Ah. ah. <laughs> and that's the end of this run. I should actually put that in a separate video, but it was such a such a short little run. Just tag you because like you know. There we go. Got some nice artillery now. Thanks a lot for watching. If you thought this was remotely entertaining and or informative, you know what to do. Give me a thumbs up, post a comment, and most importantly, subscribe to make sure you get all my videos hot off the press. All right, see you next time. Hey guys, real walkthroughs like these are an endangered species here on YouTube. For a complete lowdown on the YouTube video game walkthrough scene, check out my Patreon page and please consider making a donation to yours truly, Major Slack, to help keep real walkthroughs alive on YouTube. You can donate as little as $1. That's $1. That's all. That's all it takes. All right. Thanks a lot. Really appreciate it.